Factoring Special Polynomials. Let's take a look at factoring a difference of squares. First thing you're probably asking is what is a difference of squares? Right here I've got a difference of squares written down. It's not really a square, but we're going to use squares to solve these, to multiply it, and to make factoring one of these quicker and easier. So let's look at what makes this a difference of squares. We've got two binomials, and the first term in each binomial is exactly the same. The last term in each binomial is exactly the same. However, we've got a difference. One is adding, one is subtracting. That's what makes it a difference of squares. Now watch what happens when we expand these, when we multiply them out. Take a look at those like terms, these two in the middle. Take a look at those two middle terms. They'll cancel each other out. In a difference of squares, the two like terms will always cancel each other out. That's what makes this particular type of expression special. So 5x minus 5x gives me nothing. So if I rewrite this, I have x squared minus 25. There's my multiplied difference of squares. Notice how I have a square and a square. And in my end answer, I have a difference. Every time you multiply a difference of squares, the pattern is very simple. You can just square the first term and square the last term, put a negative sign in the middle, and you're done. You should be able to solve these just by looking at them and not have to go through the whole box process. Let's do a couple of examples. Start with this one. I want you to get good at just looking at it and coming up with the answer. So the first term squared is x squared. The last term squared, so 3 times 3 gives me 9, and I'm going to put a negative in the middle. Question done. I'm going to quickly write out the instructions on that. Square the first term. Square the second term. Put a negative in the middle. Let's do one more quick. First term is 4x, second term is 3, I got a plus, we got a negative, it's a difference of squares, so I can square the first term, 4x times 4x, 4 times 4 is 16, x times x is x squared, last term, 3 times 3 gives me 9, and I'm going to put a difference. Question complete. Now, we're going to use what we know about the pattern of a difference of squares to help us factor them. Once again, once you learn the pattern, this should be a very quick and easy factory. As a quick note, you could rewrite this as x squared. Now, I don't have any x's, so I'm going to say plus 0x minus 64. And you could factor this as a trinomial like we did the box numbers. Find two numbers that multiply together to give minus 64, but add or subtract to give you 0. That method will work, but I really want you to be able to look at it and just factor it by sight. All right, we need to check. Do we have a difference of squares here? First term is a square. Second term is a square. And yes, we do have a difference. All right, so it's a difference of squares. Let's start solving. I do know that it's going to be two binomials. And because it's a difference of squares, one's going to be plus, one's going to be minus. Let's start with the square root of the first term. Square root of x squared is x. So I need to put an x at the beginning of both binomials. Then we go with our second term, 64. I'm going to ignore that negative sign because you can't take the square root of a negative number. Square root of 64 is 8. So my answer is x plus 8 and x minus 8. There is my difference of squares. Quick bit of notes, the square root of the first term, square root of the second term, one positive, one negative. Question complete. Let's factor another example. First thing, do I have a difference of squares? Well, 25 is a square, and x is a squared, so this whole thing is a square. 16 is a square, y squared is a square, so this whole thing is a square, so I've got a pair of squares, and I've got a difference. So yes, I've got a difference of squares. So I know I'm going to have two binomials in my factored form. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of x squared is x. So my first term is 5x. Last term, square root of 16 is 4. Square root of y squared is y. So my last term is 4y. One positive, one negative. Difference of squares factored. All right, let's factor this one. First check. Do I have a difference of squares? That 9 is a square, x squared is a square, so this first term is a square, y squared is a square, but 15 is not a square. This question is not a difference of squares. I can't use my trick for factoring it. I'm just going to look for a common factor I can pull out of everything. 
If I look at it, I can factor a 3 out of both 9 and 15. I can't factor any variables out. So if I factor out a 3, inside the brackets it leaves me with 9 divided by 3 is 3x squared, 15 divided by 3 is minus 5y squared. And that's as far as we can factor it. Once again, not a difference of squares this time. Let's move on to this one. First check, is it a difference of squares? 50 is not a square, 18 is not a square, but there's a square hiding in there. Watch what happens when I take a common factor out of both of those terms. I can factor a 2 out of both. 50 divided by 2 is 25x squared. 18 divided by 2 is minus 9. I now have some squares and I have a difference. I can use my difference of squares to factor this. Don't forget about that 2 out front. I've got my two binomials. First term, 25x squared. The square root of that is 5x. Second term is 9. square root of that is 3. 1 plus, 1 negative, and there's my factored form.